Joining us right now to discuss this and also Trump's situation, South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace, who's also a member of the House Oversight Committee, where Hunter Biden's associate Rob Walker is appearing for that closed door interview. Congresswoman Mace, pleasure to have you in. Thanks for joining me today on Newsline. Yes, and thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. So Rob Walker, yesterday it was Mervyn Yan. Uh, what do you think are the most explosive takeaways that you'd like our viewers to know about how the Bidens uh, were receiving money? And I guess the big question is, for what? Well, number one, you can't believe anything that Joe Biden or his press secretary or the administration says in his defense about his involvement in these businesses. And it's really important for the American people to see the facts and the information as we come out of these depositions and out of these hearings to see it for what it is. Number one, why was Joe Biden on all of these phone calls? Why was Joe Biden having meetings and lunches um, and dinners with the associates of Hunter Biden and his clients? What did Hunter Biden do for all that money? And how was his father involved? Was it was it when he was vice president, et cetera? How, how did they get all of this money? Because we do know that Hunter Biden, you know, half of all of his income went to his father. And I wish the American people could see the suspicious activity reports and see the massive, mind-boggling amount of money that we are talking yes. about here. It is gross and it's disgusting and obscene. Those are short. The, the su suspicious activity report called SARS were always easy for Congress to get. But interesting, the day Joe Biden right. took office, he changed the law. So it kind of slowed down some of the investigation into all of that. But there are quite a few. Um, I want to turn to former President Donald Trump, who you recently endorsed. Uh, and mm -hmm. today he is in that courtroom, as we just heard from one of our attorneys. There could be a jury verdict in just a few hours. What do you make of what's happening, not just here uh, in this courtroom, but overall what many say is the lawfare, lawfare with the former president, the leading GOP candidate. Well, you you see these stories about these investigators or prosecutors investig investigating Donald Trump, these judges, the things that they say, the way that they are treating him, it seems deeply like a double standard. And if his last name were Biden, he, he would have, he would be a free man, right? But because his last because he's Donald Trump, um, this is the double standard here. And look, we just had Hunter Biden in at the Oversight Committee. The guy shows up with a Netflix camera crew defying a congressional subpoena, and he's able to walk free, was able to walk free. We're finally going to get him, Hunter, before the Oversight Committee deposition in February. But if his name was Hunter Trump, he'd be behind bars. For sure. Uh, by the way, will we see you out on the campaign trail at all with a former President Trump in South Carolina, possibly? Oh, you sure you sure will. South Carolina is Trump country, and we're going to be out on the campaign trail stumping throughout the state. Great. Uh, so you talked about the prosecutors and what is happening with Donald Trump, it's particularly Georgia and Fonnie Willis. There's some breaking news, uh, Congresswoman Mace. There is now calls for her to be impeached. Articles of impeachment have been filed by the Georgia Freedom Caucus chair, Charlie's Bird. There is an, a scandal there with this lead prosecutor allegations, not only of taxpayer money that she paid him, but possible interference possibly with the White House because he met with counsel before the indictment. Do you believe that there may have been collusion by Joe Biden's White House in this case in Georgia? Oh, absolutely. And you, the thing is, you cannot believe one word that comes out of Joe Biden's mouth if it's even coherent. Um, and then what you're seeing in Georgia is absolute corruption. And if what she has done is not illegal, it is certainly unethical and immoral. And she should remove herself, recuse herself from the case in Georgia. I mean, it's crazy what these crazy leftists are able to get away with. And no other place in the country, no other place, if you and I, this was happening to you, we wouldn't be able to get away with this. But because she's got a D by her name, anything goes. Yes. Uh, well, we appreciate your time today. Uh, any thoughts on Nikki Haley staying in the race? Uh, she doesn't have a lot of endorsements from the home state of South Carolina. We know she doesn't have yours. Well, I respect her as a woman, as a, as a former governor. She was a good governor. She ran a good race. But the playoffs are over. It's time to start the Super Bowl. It's time to save our country. And the man for the job is Donald Trump. That is who the American people want. That's who South Carolinians want. And I listen to my voters no matter what. And we're back on Team Trump, and we're going to make sure that he wins it big in South Carolina. He's going to win by 30 to 40 points. It won't even, it won't even be close. Congresswoman Nancy Mace, appreciate your time today. Thanks. Great to have you in. Yeah, thank you.